Continuing on with part five of our overview, we are going to resume our discussion on pivot tables. With the inclusion of pivot tables within the Data Visualizer app, the list for our saved items has also been updated to ensure we can find the visualization we are looking for. If I go to open a previously saved item, I can do this by going to File and then Open. I will notice a new column for Type, which indicates the type of visualization the saved item represents. There is also a new option to filter based on the type of visualization. You can see all the available visualizations are available as types in the drop-down filter. Let's select Pivot Table as our filter. Now the list only displays pivot tables. We can also use the search function as well to find the table we had made in the previous example in part four of this overview. Note that as the new pivot table app is being scaled up, pivot tables made in Data Visualizer are compatible with the previous pivot table app. And pivot tables made in the previous pivot tables app are also compatible with Data Visualizer. We are now in the previous pivot tables app. We can open the save table we have just made within this app. It displays exactly as it should based on the dimensions that we have selected as it is fully compatible within this app. Likewise, we can modify the table within this app. For example, we could remove the morbidity age dimension. We could then update our table and then save it. If we were to then go back to Data Visualizer and open up this pivot table, we would see that it will open with the modifications made to the table. You can see that the age is no longer present within the saved item. One of the other main advantages of integrating pivot tables in the Data Visualizer app is that we can move between visualizations more seamlessly. Taking the example we currently have, we could select another visualization type, a bar chart for example. We could then update our visualization, and we will see that a new visualization is produced very quickly. This gives us quite a bit more flexibility when we explore our data, so we can quickly move between different visualization types as required. In this final overview, we discussed how the pivot table has been integrated as an additional visualization within the data visualizer. The current pivot table app will be available in parallel as considerations are made to implement the use of this tool in practice, and the two apps are completely compatible with one another as demonstrated in this overview. We realize this is a significant change and are available to address your concerns. Please do not hesitate to contact us on the community of practice if you have any questions about the concepts that we have discussed in this overview.